crafty friends. This is Joy with Create It With Joy. Welcome back to my channel. Today's project is a project for Spellbinders using two beautiful stamp sets from Jane Davenport. To me, these stamp sets are a little bit um, abstract, to me anyways, And but I really love how my cards turned out. Um, and I used a little bit of... Um, inspiration from Gina Kay. I watched her the other night and she was doing some inking on acetate and so that's what I did for a couple of these backgrounds and then the other uh, giraffe card I used some Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers to color those in. So let's get started on this fun project. So here is the first stamp. This is Elephant Dream and I absolutely adore elephants. They are one of my favorite animals and so um, I was super excited about this stamp set. So I'm going to be using the elephant image, um, a sentiment, and a second card using that feather. Here is a piece of acetate. I cut it kind of big. And then I have this mat from Ranger, um, and it's like a non-stick mat. And so when you put this down, this acid piece of acetate, it's not going anywhere. It's not sliding around, and I am absolutely in love with that. So the ink that I'm using is Hickory Smoke, Wilted Violet, and Peacock Feathers. For this card, I'm going to be using Weathered Wood, Tumbled Glass, and Worn Lipstick. I'm getting it a little bit wet with my Distress Sprayer. Moving some of this ink around, again, this is I was watching Gina K and um, loved the backgrounds. My ink is not moving as much as hers, but it's okay. It turned out good. Something I did learn off of this first one is I added a lot of water, and so it made a very muted background. Um, I do want to say that I am using Ranger's um, watercolor paper, and it has a little bit of texture to it, which I really wanted. Um, so I'm laying this down on the ink, giving it a little bit of smushing to the side, and you can see how light it is, which is really pretty. So if you like a lighter color, I had a little fuzz on there too that wasn't coming off. Um, if you have a lighter color or you like a lighter color, add more water to it. That is not what I was going for, um, but I still ended up using this piece of paper. I am just drying it in between. I will clean off that acetate and I'm going to re-ink with those same colors. Again, I'm using weathered wood, which I thought was a great color for an elephant, tumbled glass, and worn lipstick. So I'm going to do this again on that same piece of paper, and I actually um, liked that it had that lighter color underneath, so it really turned out to be a happy accident, which, you know, isn't that what Bob Ross always says, a happy accident? So this time I'm going to use less water because I want these really kind of harsh um, parts of this color, and you'll see what I mean when I lift this up. Isn't that beautiful? And so Gina K talked about having open white spots, and I get it, and I liked that. So I'm just going to dry this again with my heat tool, and I'm going to leave this piece as is because I think it is stunning and it turned out perfect. So once that's all dry, I will wipe off that acetate, and we will go on to the next card. So this is the one that I am using Peacock Feathers, Wilted Violet, and Hickory Smoke. And I put the hickory smoke in the center. And because I knew I was going to be using the sentiment that says dream big and it's got these feathers. I don't know. This kind of felt dreamy to me. So those that's why I chose those colors. I did not put a ton of water down this time. And I love how this background turned out. When it's dry and having that hickory smoke in the center between those two vibrant colors. So, so, so beautiful. So that one worked out perfect. So less water gives you kind of this more crazy dark color. But I think the purple went up the side because I lifted it up instead of lifting it to the side. Um, it really didn't bother me, but if you didn't like that, maybe, you know, move it a different way. So now I'm putting this into my Misty, and I'm using Ranger's Archival Jet Black Ink. Um, that works great with Distress Inks. Once you've put Distress Inks down, this is really a vibrant black on top of that. And doesn't that elephant image look stunning? It's such a beautiful image to begin with, with this really uh, pretty ballerina on top. And that coloring where the elephant's eye was, was fabulous. Um, I couldn't have planned that any better. 
So now I'm taking some gray cardstock from Cardstock Warehouse. Um, I will have the name of that listed below. It's from their uh, grayscale paper pack. And it's kind of like the one of the darker grays that's in there. Stamping that um, and using some white embossing powder and that sentiment says, unexpected friendships are the best ones. Now you can see that I had already put that sentiment directly onto um, my stamped background. I did not like how that looked at all. I was like, this is awful. Oh my gosh, I just ruined my paper. But I did not. I think it looks good with this popped up gray image. Excuse me, gray background with the sentiment on it. That's what I mean. Um, I did use some foam tape behind that. And then I'm going to mat it on the same color gray cardstock. And I think it turned out great. Um, and then I'm going to use some really pretty like diamondy looking jewels that I have. I probably got these from my craft store um, for a little bit of embellishment. I did put that on an A2 size card base so you can see the gray frame and then a little bit of white frame. I'm using Rangers Multimedia Matte Glue and that card is finished. And look at how beautiful that turned out. That image speaks for itself and I think it is gorgeous. Okay, so the next card that we're going to be doing is I'm stamping the Dream Big, again using uh, Rangers Archival Ink uh, Jet Black. Stamping that down, and then I'm going to stamp the feather image. This is trimmed down quite a bit. I'm going to say at least a half an inch all the way around um, because I did want this to be a smaller piece with a big white matte background. So I want the feathers to look like it's they're falling from the sky. And so the top one, I'm actually, I changed my mind. I'm actually going to have it hang off the top because I do like images that aren't always just in the center of a card panel. So this top one will just be a little bit off of the edge, like it's coming from somewhere else. And then there's going to be two below the word dream big. And again, I want them to just look like they're floating down, light as air, effortlessly. That's how I wanted this card to feel. So just stamp that. I'm going to clean it off and then move my stamp one more time. And I knew this was going to be a really simple card, but I really just think the sentiment and the images are beautiful. And then with that background, um, I really like how these cards turned out. Super, super pretty. So now that that's done, I'm going to mat it onto a piece of black cardstock. Very, this is ebony black from Cardstock Warehouse and just a very tiny frame around. Um, and then I will attach this to an A2 size card base. I was motivated by Gina K for this too and I think it's just so, so, so pretty. And then I'm gonna add some of those same uh, jewels to the front of this card as well. They look like little diamonds using my Ranger Multimedia Matte Glue, but any liquid glue would work. And look at how pretty that card is. So, so stunning. These images are just so simple and so fantastic. So now for this next card, this is Giraffe Wisdom. And I'm gonna use just the giraffe on this, the flowers and the um, butterfly. I'm using watercolor paper. I'm using the uh, Ranger watercolor paper. And I'm just going to make a really simple scene of this giraffe laying down in grass. So I'm getting him centered. Um, I know that this paper will be trimmed down a little bit. Um, let's see, probably a quarter of an inch all the way around. And so I'm going to center him. I'm going to stamp him with the Ranger Archival Jet Black ink. It's good for watercoloring. Get a good couple uh, stamps on that so it's a nice sharp image. Then I'm going to stamp the flower next to him. And for this card, I'm going to be using my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. I just kind of felt like, I don't know, it just kind of spoke to me like that. I don't know. Do you ever have stamps or a product that just speaks to you like it's telling you how it wants to be made? <laughs> I don't know. Does that sound nutty? Maybe I am. Maybe it's too much quarantine time. I have no idea. So I'm gonna stamp the butterfly and this flower image at the same time. And then I'm gonna clean off the flower image and stamp it right next to it so it looks like it's just a clump of flowers and a little bit on an angle. Stamp that one more time. 
And then we've got this great image to start with. So I'm taking my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. Oh, I did have some smudges, so I'm using my, um, my Mono Tombow Eraser. So this is light green, and I'm actually just going to ground this giraffe, and I'm just doing the light green, and I'm just doing some darker spots, and I will come back in with my water brush marker, although I do not fill my water brush marker up. I spritz some water off to the side, dip it in the water, touch it on my paper towel, and then bring it to my paper. This is just, I feel like I have much more control. So I'm just taking those dark lines and just taking a little bit of color from that and bringing it down to where you've got a dark green and then the light green. And I will be adding some more little spots of grass under parts of, of the giraffe's body. Um, I'm keeping the colors really simple. I'm using light green, emerald green, um, natural beige and mustard for the giraffe and pink for the flowers. The emerald green is for the butterfly. So I'm taking this uh, natural beige, I'm coloring the whole giraffe this color. And then I will take the mustard and just to all the spots on the giraffe, I'm gonna color parts of that in. And then I will go back with my water brush marker or you can just use a paintbrush because that really kind of just makes sense. But this is my paintbrush. And then I'm going to blend those out a little bit so they're not so harsh. You could, however, leave them just as is. You do not have to blend anything out. It's totally up to you on what you like. Um, I kept this card really simple with coloring. Um, but it turned out really fantastic. And I think it's got nice shading and things like that. I think it's a great card. You could really kind of mass produce this pretty quick. It's a super easy card. Um, again, these images are absolutely stunning. These are from Jane Davenport at Spellbinders. And I, I'm really excited that I got to uh, play with these products. I realized that he was on a hill going down. So I needed to level that out a little. And then I'm going to color the flowers, the leaves in the light green and then pink. For the flowers and then emerald green and pink for the butterfly. Really a super simple easy to color card. You don't even have to have a blue sky or anything you just kind of feel like that's what's going on. Blending it out with my water and that's it. Now I'm going to take the sentiment from that same stamp set giraffe wisdom and it says reach for the sky. I'm just stamping it in the same jet black archival ink. And I trimmed it down and we're going to mat it on a black piece of cardstock. This is ebony black from cardstock warehouse. And then we're going to put that onto an A2 size card base. So it's going to have a white frame and a black frame. And then I'm leaving it as is. I'm not adding anything else to it because I think the card is beautiful just as it is. What a fun image. What, isn't that a great card? I love that. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope that you guys feel inspired. Um, if you like what you've seen, please subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up, comment, share with your crafty friends. I really do appreciate all of that. Um, I do have some affiliate links below. It costs you guys nothing, but it does continue to help me create these videos. So thank you for using those and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.